Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where we are cracking on making our Mega Aquarium. We are building uh, the biggest one we've built so far and uh, hopefully filling it out with some awesome fishies. We are very close to having our large animals um, quest that we started in the last one done. All we need to do is one more day for our unicorn surgeon fish to grow and then we'll get that. Then we're going to start working on uh, this one here, the Staff Talk. And both of those should push us uh, ever closer to earning 1400 and we need three more different types of fish we are going to start mixing the fish up a few people said they don't like the fact that it's just one fish per tank but especially that's how a lot of aquariums work really um you know they have a few bigger tanks with lots of things throwing around it but a lot of the time it is just one one or maybe two types of fish in each uh, in each tank so the other thing that a few people have pointed out to me, sorry it's took us so long to get to this, uh, unfortunately I do batch record a little bit, um, so a few of these episodes have been pre-recorded before people started pointing out that I'm completely ignoring the fact that we have protein skimmers, which are good at filtering, and um, I kind of just for some reason forgot all about them, so what we're going to do is go over these and try and uh, fix them a bit basically, so we're going to destroy all of this, alright, and we're going to start again, so here we go, you need 100 heat, you're going to give 40 of 100, so let's get to our large heater. Large heater, there we go, large heater. You give 90, good. Okay, and then we're going to go to a combi one. That's going to give us the 10 heat we need and a good chunk of filtering. So now out of interest, if we do a large filter, it doesn't actually give us that much. I wonder then if it's better to instead have a large protein skimmer. There we go. Look at that. We've absolutely crushed that down to a much better size. So uh, yeah, that's the problem. So thank you so much to everyone who pointed that out that I completely forget in what protein skimmers do um, like an idiot. So we should be able to do the same again here. So a large heater gives us a good chunk of the heat. A power combi will give us a good chunk of both. There we go. And then a large protein skimmer. Well, I wonder if a small protein skimmer will do. No, Paul, small isn't quite enough. Not yet, anyway. I think there's another, there is eventually going to be another type of filter as well that somebody mentioned that is coming. Uh, but that there. Oh, look at that. Not quite. So I wonder if actually a power filter will just be enough to kip us over there. But to be fair, there is a little bit more going on in that one than this one, I think. So uh, again, let's get rid of both of those. And I think probably most of those as well. All right. Uh, and then we could put a filter on there. That really helps. In fact, let's just move that to keep it all neat. There we go. And on this one, we're going to have a large... Uh, it's hot enough. Why do we have so many heaters on that one before? It's hot enough, so we could do that. And then a protein skimmer will probably be enough there. Oh, no, it isn't hot enough. Look, that's, that's interesting. Let's try replacing that with a combi one then and see if that helps. See if that's what we need. See if that's enough. Oh, not quite enough, but that's fine because we're probably better off doing that then, aren't we? Yes, perfect. Tell what we'll do then. Now we've done that, we can actually um, put these like this and it makes a much nicer throughput. Uh, these small ones are pretty fine. We haven't got to worry about those. In fact, the only thing I might do with these is maybe take those off because a small one of these is probably going to do a better job. Awesome. You're fine with just that. You're fine with just that. That's no problem. You're okay pretty much there. In fact, I will get rid of you. There we go. Just to kind of help with the that protein thing. So where have we got some other big tanks? Here we've got some chilled ones. So let's get rid of you. Stick a bit of a protein skimmer on there. That's good. Uh, here, you're doing you, you're doing both of them, so you're fine. Although we could probably swap you out for a protein skimmer. Yeah, there we go. Just uh, helps us out a little bit, that does, I think. Alright, uh, so I think that's it. Where's the, um, the gear off this big one? That didn't actually need much because it's already got those guys skimming it out and those were the big problems there. Okay, awesome. Right, thanks so much for that feedback. That really, really did help me out there. Um, so, we are going to build a, a big old tank in this one. The biggest tank we've ever built. It's going to be a... Uh, well, actually, it's, I say the biggest tank we've ever built. It kind of depends how big it can go. It can go pretty big. It can go pretty big. I asked you whether you wanted to see... 
a, uh, a Belfast or a small tunnel or even the Deep Observer was one that we haven't unlocked yet. Um, and for the most part, there it is, Deep Aircrop Tank. It was pretty much neck and neck. There was a couple more votes for the walking through one. And I'm more than happy with that as well because I really want to see a walking through one as well. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it down here. So we're going to drop a wall in here. Uh, can't do that just yet. That's fine. Let's instead then do... Oh, no, wrong one. There we go, that one. Let's uh, open up a good chunk of area at the, for a start, and then we'll put that in there. So they're all locked off until we're ready for them to come in. Okay, let's drop this down. Small tank as big as it will go. That's pretty big. Pretty big. It's going to need a lot to uh, get this one going, I think. So let's put it in... Um, let's put it in... Though. Let's have a think about this. Let's put it in there. Okay. Now I'm tempted... I'm tempted, I'm interested to know that if we do this, no, they, there has to be a gap around it. I was going to say, can we make it so they have to walk through there? Um, because normally, um, normally uh, aquariums are sort of very sort of set, really, in their, in their path. But no, this one has to be just a walkthrough attraction on its own. So instead, what we'll do is something like that, and we'll make this into a bit of a... Uh, uh, drinks and, 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 and bins and, and things like that area. Okay. That can stay open. How many how many have we done there? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six there as well. We'll take that either way. Okay, and then we're gonna go this is gonna be the gift shop, but I think we might need one more area before we get back there. So Let's leave this, let's instead do a, we'll eventually put a row down here, I think, which then takes us to there, and I think that might be enough, um, maybe a, maybe a Belfast tank or something here later on, but I think for now, we're going to concentrate on making this awesome uh, walkthrough one, alright, so we'll put some walls up here. Uh, but we'll have a staff door there, so we know what's going on. We'll have a, a few floor arrows to keep people moving through the area. It's kind of annoying that I can't line that up with the tank, but what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to go that way. Yeah, and uh, we could do a little toilet block here probably. Where have we got toilets now? We've got some here. And we've got some over there. There, they probably are a bit close together. Somebody else pointed that out that they're probably a bit close together, but you know what, the main entrance usually does have uh, a good chunk of that sort of stuff. Right. Uh, podiums. We're going to have to go pretty high here, I think. And I, I don't think they've yet added in double... Oh, no, I do want to do that. Uh, double level stairs. So we have to do... This kind of thing. There we go. And then can we delete you? Awesome, there we go. So there's going to be our level up. All right. Um, we'll use a pump to get this thing going, but first of all, we have to pick what we're going to have in there. We've got clownfish coming, but they're more of a smaller tank, really, that you can really get up and see. Uh, let's have a look. Turbot, that's quite a big dude, isn't it? Uh, they grew up to 19. Yeah, turbot it is. We're going to get some turbot in here eventually. I think the problem is at the moment, somebody, the, the, the developer was saying that they, there isn't um, collision for the pipe yet, so the fish just kind of float through the pipe, but that's all right. We're going to let them off. All right, it is something that they're aware of. So, first of all, let's get some big dudes in here, all right? So the Atlantic Pollock goes pretty big. Um, I feel like I want a warm tank, though. This is going to be a warm one. So an Epaulette Shark. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, we've got a male. What, what's that? Something that's grown. Lazy people from Gashers, they love the large animals. Great job. Close. Awesome. Oh, that was the uni was that the unicorn fish growing? Unicorn surgeon fish growing, nice. Okay, cool. So we got uh, we got a boost in our prestige for that. Nice. Okay, so I want I want an epaulette shark in here, but what I'm actually going to do is take one of our big old dudes from over here. All right. So we'll put a little baby one in. Uh, where are you? Epaulette shark goes in here. All right, but then I'm going to move one of the big guys over to here. Alright, 
So I'm hoping you're gonna tell me it's just two. Yeah, there's all sorts it needs. Okay, that's fine. 100. Wow, 280 that needs to heat. There is a big heater coming in here. It's 220, so we're probably gonna need that eventually. But for now, we'll have to just spam some heaters, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna have another one of those. Because they're pretty good, I think. The only thing they can't be in there with is crustaceans. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So we'll get two of those in there, a big one and a small one. All right. And then we'll also, we're going to have some turbot in there. But what else have we got that's like a decent size? The Balan Ras. What can't, you can't be with crustaceans either. Oh, well, you're cold. No, that's no good. We want some warm ones. Box fishes. Uh, skill required to feed. That's fine. Can't be in with corals or starfish. Um, all right, yeah, we could we could have a couple of you in there as well. Okay, so a couple of striped boxfish. I think there's going to be no issues there. Um, the other boxfish. Uh, what? We, oh no, hold on, boxfish. You were. What about longhorn cowfish then? Let's tell us what your issues is. You can't be with starfish. You'll grow a little. You're armored. You're a wimp. Okay, so from now on, we can't have bullies in with you, but I think you look adorable, so I'm going to let you be in there. So I'm going to make sure that nothing we're working on here is a bully. No, the turbot's not, which is good. Uh, oh, turbot's cold water, look. Ah, uh, well, never mind. I want, I want the turbot on that anyway. We'll do a Belfast tank cold water. How's that? We'll do this one warm to walk through with all the pretty fish, and then we'll do a, uh, a Belfast tank with cold water. So... I feel like a few of these, they can't be together. They're not a bully, though. They can't be with other Gorgonians. What the hell is a Gorgonian again? Let's have a look. Damsels, soldierfish, squirrels, groupers, surgeonfish, butterflyfish, angelfish. So I don't think we have Gorgonians. So I'm going to... What about you? Shiny corals, you're a wimp as well. So we can have you. Yeah, so what each of those can go in. That's good. So this is a this is a wimpy tank, basically. Full of wimps. Alright. Full of wimps. Um Let's have a look here. Coral grouper. You can't be with your own, that's fine. You'll grow. You can't be crustaceans or fish with size two. How big are those ones? They're three and three. They're the only small ones we've got. Good, so we can get a coral group in there as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, you shoal, but you're size four, so you're all right. You, you don't need lights, but that's fine. We're not going to put lights in there anyway. So I think we could get away with four of you. One, two, three, four. And maybe something up here that are, that are still oversized three. All of these, you're, these are all pretty simple. These these don't have any problems at all with pretty much anything. So let's do four of them. One, two, three, four. And not clownfish. We're going to keep those because they need to be in a small reef that's got some corals and stuff in there. Um, Royal Gamma. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a bleak line at Dotty Back. You are a bully, so you can't go in there because we've got some wimpies. Can't be housed with any non lionfish. We haven't put lionfish in there. Is that the same for you? Uh, no, you can go in maybe. Let's have a look. You're greasy. That's fine. You can't be with small fish, which we haven't got. Um, armored. Uh, no, that's okay. Um, okay, so we can have a few of you. I mean, this is looking like a good tank. Um, okay, we can't have coral in there. There was, there was definitely something there, coral. There's still something in there that eats fish. You're cold, you're cold. Uh, we've got boxes. Okay, I think that's pretty much the lot that we can do in there. It doesn't require much filtration, amazingly. Um, but obviously, it needs lots of different foods. We'll sort those out in a minute. It needs eight rocks. Okay, so let's start working on this sort of stuff now. So let's try live rocks. Um, just because they're a bit different, they give us a plus two on the on the old rock front, all right, and a bit of filtration I think as well. So I would say they're pretty solid. There we go. So there's some rocks. Okay. It also needs. Do we need any plants? Five plantings. Five, blah, blah, five plants. Let's have a look. We got a new plant last time, didn't we? Tangled tumbulum weed. Oh my word! Look at this thing. Okay. 
I reckon a couple of you in there looking pretty badass and and then we're gonna need some we need to look 15 for space to sleep in that should be enough that's 12 okay so we'll have one of you and then we'll have one of the smaller ones as well 24 okay so I think that's looking pretty good I feel like um, you know just because it would be rude not to we need some kelp in there because it's you know it's the boss right there we go nice big old tank there lots going on that's good and then let's uh let's kit it out we're gonna stick a pump on it because we haven't really got the space to build it out next to itself so we're gonna do pump to there okay which is done and then we're gonna add okay 280 on the heat that is a lot uh, that gives us 90 so um right let's do one. Oh man two three 270 on the heat there right so there's the heat so we're gonna have to have one pump just for heating uh oh what's up with you poor water quality oh yeah no we're working on the water quality don't worry about that uh, we're going to have to have a second pump, I think, just a bit further away. Oh, actually, no, I'll tell you what we can do. If we get rid of these, we could do this better. We can do... We can definitely save some space here. There we go. For feeding. Good stuff. And then we can put the pumps... Uh, the, uh, the filters, sorry, directly onto the tank. Okay, so let's have a look. What does that do? That gives us 42. Large protein skimmer gives us 64. So a double one, is that enough? Oh, not quite. Um, let's try a power filter. That hardly does anything. Let's see instead if one of those is better. It's a little bit of a playing by ear. I think actually that's going to be. Oof, that's going to be the way to go. Okay, that's enough there. We have now completely chopped off this area, but that's fine because we can open this up. Okay, we can add a wall in there. And we can move this and its gubbins uh, to here. Oh, no, we can't. That's not quite close enough. Okay, let's try. I mean, it only really needs to be there, doesn't it? Let's try there. Yes, that's close enough. And now we just need all the different foods, which are copious and needy. And um, what's going on here? Lack of swimming space. Oh, because he's grown up. Oh, dear, dear, dear. He has, the unicorn surgeon fish hasn't got the room it needs. Um, you don't have any issues. Right, come here then, you. Uh, let's pick you up. I reckon we could do that. And you're not going to have that many problems. I hope. Oh, filtration is not quite there again now. Um, right, okay. Let's, we're gonna, it's a bit of a bodge, but I think we'll get away with it. We can do this. We can do this, and we can do this. All right. And then we can destroy. You actually might as well leave those in place. We can destroy you and you. Actually, no, let's do that as well. And then we can get rid of you and you. Uh, oof. Um, what about that? This game, man, this is... It's so much fun trying to figure out that last little... That last little bit of optimization... Right, okay. Because then, another filter would be nice for that, but until then, we can do that. Boom. Okay, and then we've got a little bit of space there if we need something else in the future. Okay, let's, uh, let's clean up our floors. Here. Oops. Actually, don't want you to be blue. That's fine. Right, let's um, let's have a think. What, fi what thing we haven't we done? We've done the beach, we've done the shipwreck, uh, and that's kind of it. So... Let's have a look which ones we haven't done yet. Harbour side. Oh, we've got harbour side as you go in. 
pirate cove we haven't done yet let's so let's make this a pirate cove area okay and um and we'll throw some theming around it in a moment as well but for, for now let's just uh let's just paint the floor and the walls well i wouldn't give for a fill tool right about now Let's do all that. Okay, and you're already painted. That's good. And then these walls here. Not a huge fan of the walls of the Pirate Cove, to be honest with you, but just so we keep up some of that variation, I think it's important. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is have some uh, wood around here. Again, just to make sure we've got that variation. All right, and then we'll pop in all our other bits and bobs. So we'll have a couple of vending machines over here because they seem to be uh, pretty popular still. And then we'll also bring out a toilet block here. Is it three? Oh, it's two. There we go. I only want it big enough for a little toilet block, uh, which is going to be those ones there. Boop, 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 boop. There. That's good. And then we'll do some uh, benches as we need them. This area here will probably have clownfish, I think, once it's done. We'll keep that relatively light for now. Um, I suppose we could have benches there as well. And we'll have a couple of bins. Have one there. We'll have one inside of this. Okay, and then right. Okay, so that's the tank done. Hopefully they'll feed them. Should we put all the? We should probably put another set of the food in here, shouldn't we? So we've got the food we need. Uh, so what do we need? We need cockles and mussels. Cockles and mussels in. We need uh, orange, green, sand and supplement. Okay, so. Let's stick the supplement there. And then we'll put orange. We've probably got orange and green pretty close. There's green. Let's put some orange in then. And then that supplement one we've done. Uh, Sandil was the other one we haven't got nearby. So we'll put that there as well. Because they, they pretty much pick it up and then do the rounds. So that's fine. We haven't really looked at, at sort of staff management much yet. We'll probably look at that more in the next level. So I want to keep that one purposefully... Uh, naturally themed okay but I do want to do some uh, some cool theming around it so things like um, this part in fact yeah what I want to do is a bit of sand up on the wall up, up towards the edge here I know we've had a sandy area but I think that would look pretty sweet just as like a bit of theming and we'll get an old, uh, an old palm tree in and the treasure chest. Oh yeah, loving it. Loving it. Okay, we've also got this awesome cannon open up now as well. Where would that go? Would that kind of go here on the way into the area or something? To sort of declare that we're in the pirate zone? I think it would. Let's get rid of this bit of wall. And we'll leave that locked off for now. Okay. So I think that's our big old Belfast tank. People should be coming through here now, and they should not only want to look into it, they should want to have a little walkthrough as well. And they do. Nigel has leveled up. This is the greatest day. Well done, Nigel. This should really start to cap out our points. Now, there is another thing we need to do here, and that is this little side quest here. We have a epaulette shark. We've got one here. We need to schedule a talk about the epaulette shark. And the reason I moved one of them over here... Um, was because you have to have the podium near what you want to talk about. All right, so we're going to pop this in there. Let's have a look. I think um, I think the first half of it is this side. Yeah, podium. So I think that's where they walk onto it. So let's put that podium there. Okay. And then we need the the backstage of this is the mic headset, which we'll place um, here. 
Okay, and then we need to schedule a talk. So I'm not 100% sure how we do that. I guess we click it. Yeah, here we go. So let's set a talk about the epaulette shark to start at 9 a.m. Um, yeah, every day. The next talk is later today. Awesome. So that's give us a big boost there as well. So now all we need to do is get this up to 1,400. We still need one more type of fish, which is going to be our clownfish. Um which we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to do a clownfish, we're going to do a couple of little tanks here, we're going to finish off with our gift shop, and then I would say we'd probably call this one, because uh, this one's done and move on to the next level. Remember, we are playing through the campaign here, this isn't just completely sandbox. Um, so yeah, we will uh, we will definitely want to keep working. But I really want to see the talk. I want to, um, I want to see what that's all about. So, Quinn has leveled up. Quinn, you're going to be a bit better at cleaning, because at the moment you kind of suck at it, to be honest. Staff talk is scheduled to take place here. Mike's headset is required. The task is currently assigned to nobody. We we have somebody who can talk, though, do we not? You can talk. You can talk. I'm going to hire, hire a talker. I'm assuming they just they come and sort it out. But I think maybe feeding them takes priority. That would kind of make sense. But it looks good though, doesn't it? I really want to see them come and do a talk. Come on. Come oh, on. Who's coming over? Should we make it so we make it somebody's job? So we could see if we can figure that out. Okay, let's have a look. Who's who's got good uh feeding, cleaning, feeding, cleaning. I don't need all these to open. Uh, Nigel, feeding and fixing, feeding and fixing, feeding and fixing, Penny, feeding and fixing and talking, feeding and fixing and better talking, Lorenzo, feeding and fixing and talking, okay, so Lorenzo, you're our guy, zone, create a new zone, okay, so I think we click and drag, okay, so let's do you and you, you should be able to now walk around there we go, and, okay, and I'll come and put you where you're going, and uh, we, we can also prioritise what they do as well, can't we, so your priority is talking, and a bit of feeding, there we go, he's grabbed the headset, Lorenzo is about to smash this talk out of the park, the new large filter's done, I feel like this mega heat is going to help us the most next. Um, actually, no, that's not too bad there. Let's go for balloon shell because I really want to do a cool gift shop in the next episode. Here he goes. He's giving the talk. Lorenzo is not only walking the walk, he is kind of floating a bit and giving a pretty good talk as well of the tank. So I'm going to screenshot that. That's going to be our screenshot. There we go. Uh, but let's have a little walk. while we're here. Let's have a look at this. Can we walk through? Oh, we can look. Oh, of course we can. There's no, there's no clipping. I like those new plants. They're pretty awesome. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm just gonna walk through your heads. But yeah, I'm loving it. That is a cool tank. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, we've got clownfish still to put in. Um, Sven's leveled up. Sven's gonna be a feeder extraordinaire. The turbot's unlocked. Uh, are there any more cold ones? No. Let's go for... We're going to go for the anemone because um, because the clownfish are going to love it. The little Nemo's are going to love it. Alright, so clownfish next episode and we'll do a big Belfast cold tank to finish off with and then we'll do a gift shop and then this level will be done. Awesome. I've really enjoyed myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it too. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to click subscribe. Look at them all listening to the talk. They're legends. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you'd like um, to uh, join in with the Geek as a Community, you can join our Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Fancy a chat. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Johnny Sparrow. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.